One's for Texas. Grand Prairie's police chief believes relationships between officers and young people, especially African Americans, are at their lowest in his 30 year career. JD Miles reveals now the chief's novel idea to help change that. I got your mind. Go. It's bad examples of policing caught on video like this one that are influencing a generation's view of law enforcement. It was always what they saw on the news and on the videos, and so they gained a perception about police when. That's not every police officer. Nicholas Trailer and Cameron Smith grew up respecting police, but they say that's not the case with several of their friends. That cops were bad. Like, you hear a cop go run. I didn't agree with that. Whether it's a teacher in Cedar Hill or a cop on the street, respect for authority is near an all time low, according to Grand Prairie Police Chief Steve Dye. Well, I think we've got some current challenges with respect for the policing profession across the country. No, I don't believe you. Grand Prairie Police, along with the school district, have produced a new video called Two Way Street. It offers examples of what proper. Man, what are y'all stopping me for? And improper interaction between officers and young people looks like and will be shown to all middle and high school students in this city. We don't change that behavior at a young age, then typically when they do get older, we're going to have more problems with them. The chief hopes to get young people, especially African Americans, to see only blue when they look at officers and not black or white. It's giving them a visual way to see how we can really mutually respect each other. The school district superintendent says the video demonstrates to our young people that engagement with our local police officers doesn't have to be scary or confrontational. With so many negative videos shaping their views, students who've seen this one believe it will give them a better visual idea of what contact with a police officer is supposed to look like. In Grand Prairie, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.